much had it. You and your ass invited. So go on and get to clapping. Go pop a phone, play it. Pop it for me, turn around and drop it for a plan. Drop, drop it for me. I'll rent some beach house in Miami. Wake up with no jammies. Hey everybody, welcome to my channel. My name is Taylor. My channel will be consisted of makeup, hair, you name it. I want to try to do it. Um, this is going to be my spring, my go-to spring makeup look. Um, of course, I would not be wearing makeup every day, but if I do, this is going to be something I gravitate towards. I might just change the liner or the lip. But if you would like to see how I created this look, then please keep on watching. By the way, I know you're not subscribed because this is my first video, and I'm not yet not subscribed. If you're not already, please subscribe, like, comment, share this video, whatever you need to do, please get it done. I really appreciate the support in advance. And you know, let's get right in with my eyebrows off camera, simply being because um, it takes a long time. But if you all would like to see a dedicated video towards these eyebrows, then just let me know down in the comment section below. I'm gonna prime my eyes with some tarp shape tape. This is in the color, the shade Tan Sand. Just gonna put that all over my eyelid. Blend it out with a damp, clean beauty line. You know what? Scratch that. I don't like this little thing. I got this from Walmart and I don't like it. That is trash. I don't like that. I don't like that at all. Blend it out with my finger. use Let's Roll from MAC. Spray that with some Fix Plus. I want to use my finger, my nails. I have claws, so it's not going to work that way. Now I'm just gonna go in with that same brush I used to cut my crease. It's just a small little bit. I want to highlight underneath my brow. I'm gonna use that color out of the black radiance. And I'm going to mix it with that dazzle shadow that I put on my lid. Now for some liner. I'm going to do a small little bit. I'm using the Wet n Wild Mega Liner. We want to clean this wing up with the concealer in the back of my eye. So today, it's okay if you mess up on it. I mess up on it every day. And I'm, I apply eyelashes off camera. The eyelashes that I use are the Ardell Wispies that Studio affects them. These are my favorite drugstore lashes of all time. And I apply that with some hair glue. I can't use, uh, what is it called? The duo lash glue. Like, I just hate this stuff. I have a, 
There's no love hate relationship with that. I have a hate relationship with the duo. But I used it for other things. So, anyways, um, let's go ahead and clean up this eyeliner that I said I was going to clean up to make it look perfect. You know. So, I just take um, a little bit of my foundation and just clean the eyeliner. my second time recording this video because last time I forgot to prime my face. Don't ask me how. I just forgot. And then I went highlighter crazy. I know you like, is there a subject going highlighter crazy? Yes ma'am it is. I talk about people who went highlighter crazy. You don't need that dog on. You don't need that much highlight on your face. Okay. I be watching some people's tutorials and they put highlight on and they be fine. Next thing you know they just keep adding more. I'm like uh uh. Stop it. Stop, sis. Like, you're just doing too much. Just stop. You was cute. And you just messed it up with that whole highlighter stuff. Me, personally, I'm not a big highlighter fan anyways. But it's just certain highlighters I like to use. Okay. Let's get into this space already prepped my face with some um i have very very dry skin let me go ahead and tell you that now like so dry that it doesn't matter how much moisture i put on my face it's going to dry it out um i had the eczema really bad so this, the things that i want to use on my face is good for me and my skin i can't say so for people who have oily skin so what I prep my face with is some cocoa butter with some Vaseline. This is something I have been trying out for some months now and how, whenever I do it, it just leaves my face flawless. I used to have like patches over my face. It's not a makeup, like you can see patches of eczema through my face before I started using this technique. But now this is the best thing for me. So I put that on my face already. I like to put it on before I start doing makeup because I like my skin to absorb it. As you can tell, it does not even look like I have any Vaseline on my face, period. But I do, but whatever. So I'm going to prep my face with some Benefit Professional. This is the best. It like minimizes your pores, like period. Like, you know that circular frame that you don't have? That's how my pores look, just like that. None, period. So I like to just put that in my oily parts of my face, which I don't have. But I put that under my eyes. I don't put it anywhere else because everywhere else is just so dry. But I put that under my eyes and all around my nose. That's it. They have this stuff at Ulta, and they probably have it in Sephora too. But um, I'm just an Ulta girl. It's by It Cosmetics. It's this like Bye Bye Professional, like translucent powder you put it on your face before you put your makeup on. But it's a little pricey, and I'm just kind of scared to um, buy that if I don't like it. So, um, I just use some of my translucent powder. So this translucent powder is just a trick of mine. I just put that on top of that. I just know that the powder for the pores is going to be so much better than this because it's such it's more thinner. If I'm making any sense, so I just put that on top of that. Like there is no pores on my face at all. Like, dang, that circle of friends just got minimized so quick. Zero, nine. I'm going to use my two. Oh, the bottles are so dirty. <laughs> my smash up is in this shade 4.2. This is basically like a perfect match for me, but I just have to mix my foundations. I don't know. 
and the Maybelline Fit Me is in the color Mocha, which is like a darker color. This is going to appear orange on camera, but it's not orange at all. It does not oxidize. Like it's just like my skin color. And I rub it with my fingers. Make sure you get that neck. We don't want to tone skin. No. When you blend with your fingers, though, you save a lot more product. Then I just, to make sure this all blends into my skin well, I just take a damp clean beauty blender not a damp dirty not a spray with fix plus beauty blender a clean beauty blender this beauty blender that i have is so old my new one hasn't came in yet i only order mine this is from morphe but it has like holes in it because my nails it's just so old So, got a very flawless foundation. Like I said, it's like a perfect match to my skin. Yeah. So, now I'm going to conceal with my Tarte Shape Tape in the color Tintin. It's the same one I used to prime my eyelids. I don't use the same beauty blender to blend that out. Look at me, I'm like a football player. Um, I don't use the same beauty blender. I use another clean one, which is clean and damp. Yeah, I did not know that my camera had died until now as I'm editing this video, but I went ahead and set my under eye with the large translucent powder. Then I went ahead and set my entire face with a deep tone translucent powder from Laura Mercier as well. Now I'm going to go ahead and set that contour with the deep dark shade of that contour palette from the Black Radiance Kit. You can find this at any like at Walmart or CVS. Oh, and I'm using a Carity. Like I said, these Carity brushes don't have names. Another one of my little tricks, I just like to go in with that sculpt color from the Black Radius palette and just, I don't want, it doesn't matter what's in my room, I always, it, feel, it feels like I have like a little light cast, so I just get that just to blend it in. It just looks a little more lighter. Try it, girl. If you never tried it before, try it. It works. And you don't get flashback. I want to highlight. I like to highlight before I do blush so I don't have that little line. And this highlighter is from Laura Mercier. Oh, if you are not a fan of highlighter, this highlighter is the best highlighter for you because I'm not a fan. I just. Mm. This is the best highlight. It's so subtle. Like, oh my gosh. It's, it's the bomb.com. It's called Seduction. Like, when I mean that this highlight is the bomb, just look at it. Do you see it? Like, it's so, so sensational. Like, it's very, 
mm, it's wet it's so natural looking i'm not that overly dramatic girl like when i do my makeup i do it to enhance the beauty that i already have i'm not trying to make myself like a totally different person this is what i mean when i say this color is the bomb like look at the wetness do you see it sis do you i don't think you understand <laughs> okay got to contour my nose the brush I'm going to be using is my Morphe M412 brush. It's a tapered brush. I'm going to go in with the same contour shade that I used earlier. like all my stuff to look so natural that's like that's the key to my name on here tailored i like the stuff to look very appear very natural even though it is makeup people don't know you gotta have makeup on to just to wear makeup now for blush i use an angled brush this is from morphe mb4 brush like i said all of my morphe, morphe brushes are for my monthly subscriptions like you should definitely try it because it is worth it i like it I look forward to these brushes coming in every month. But I'm gonna use this blush from Black Radiance. It's called Toast, Toasted Almond, it's like an orange. And I'm gonna mix it with that color. Oh yes, I'm loving this. Okay, now um, I'm going to do line the bottom, the bottom waterline. I usually don't do colors on the bottom of my waterline. I just go with the natural color, like a brown. But since it's springtime, you know, might go to a springtime look. I am going to use like this aqua blue teal color. All right, the color is called teal. It's from NYX. I mix it with this blue to get the perfect color that I'm looking for. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna coat my bottom lashes with some NYX. Um, the skinny mascara. I'm gonna do my lips. Okay, before I do that, I'm going to just, you know, spray my face. I'm going to use my two <gasps> brighter dyes, especially this one, my Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. If you have never tried it, you need to get on it now. Get up, stop, pause this video, and go get it now. It's the bomb stop now. Okay. So I'm just gonna my so everything can look like no skin. I spray it. I'm not scared to spray it. You know. Uh, as that is dry, I'm going to go do my hair and come back with some, you know, <gasps> slow mo's. <laughs> Hey, hey, hey. 